how to use Square Invoice. Hello and welcome to our channel, WebWiz. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Square Invoice. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So the first thing that you need to do is to open your browser and kindly go to squareapp.com and you will be directed on this platform. And if you don't know Square Invoice, it is an online invoicing platform provided by Square, which is a financial services and payment processing company. Square Invoice is designed to help businesses create and send professional invoices to their clients or customers, and of course, facilitate the payment process. And with a Square Invoice, businesses can easily generate customizable invoices with details such as item descriptions, quantities, prices, and taxes. And you can access this platform for free for 30 days, or you can upgrade your account to plus account that they offer, which is amounting to $20 per month. And as you can see on each plan, you will see the description about this plan. While including below is the benefits or features that they offer, including unlimited invoicing, estimates, and contracts, unlimited users, and unlimited customers that you can access from anywhere and you can send via link, email, or even by SMS. While on the Plus Plan account, you will get the benefits that you can offer option with multi-package estimates, auto-convert accepted estimates to invoices, and many more. And if you have other concern and question, you can proceed on Frequently Asked Question in which it will show you the question with the corresponding answers below. And now that we know the background information about this platform, we can now start creating our account. And to do that, just click the Get Started button, which is located on the top right corner. And after successfully creating an account, we can now proceed by logging in your account in Square Invoice. And after that, you will be directed on this dashboard, in which from here, you can navigate different kind of options, which is located on the left side panel. And to reveal those options, kindly click the three lines on the top left corner. In which from here, it will show you the option of home, online, items, orders, transactions, and customers. And below that, you can also navigate other options including online, item and orders, reporting, customers, banking, payments, staff role, and POS systems. And to proceed to invoices, just click the payments options. And upon clicking on it, it will show you other options including online checkout, invoices, gift cards, virtual terminal, and many more. And in those options, kindly proceed by clicking the invoices. In which from here, it will show you the data, including your activity or task, your paid invoices, your estimate or pending approval, your outstanding balance, and estimates that got accepted. While under the task or activity, it will show you the activity in your feed after sending a few invoices. And to view the details about your outstanding, paid, pending approval, or accepted, just proceed by clicking the blue button that says View. And you will be directed on this page, in which you will see here the list of your invoices that you sent. Now going back here, you can also see the search bar, in which you can search for specific invoices, estimates, and recurring services. While on the top right corner, you can send an invoice, send an estimate, or even send a contract. And aside from these details under the overview, we can also navigate the projects on the left side panel options. And which from here, it will show you the list of your project, such as the files, including digital estimates, contracts, invoices, notes, and payments in this project. But you can access this feature if you have Invoices Plus account, which is amounting to $20 per month and you can pay via credit card and by simply entering your card details below. Well, for the other option is the invoices, in which from here, you can create your first invoice by clicking the button that says Create Invoice. And from here, in order to create an invoice, you need to fill out all of the required information, including the customer name, email, or phone number. While below invoice details, you also need to enter invoice title an invoice message, the service date, the frequency, the due date, 
or whether to send this invoice immediately or send it in 7 days, 14 days, or even at the end of the month. And below that, under the line items, you are required to add item that has been purchased with a quantity, prices, and the total amount, including the tax that will be paid by the customer. In addition, under the payment options, you need to enter or select your payment method, such as credit or debit card, bank transfer, or even via gift card. You can also allow customer to add the tip by checking these boxes. And aside from that, under the communication, you can contact the customer via email, text messages, or manually. And below that, you can also customize the reminders date, such as 7 days before due date, on due date, or 1 day and 3 days after due date. While below that, under the more options, you can also customize the shipping address, attach a square contract, add attachment, or you can even add a custom fields if you have plus account. And after filling out all of the details of your invoice, you can now click the free view in order to see what it looks like when the customer receives it. And after that, you can proceed by clicking the send button, which is located on the top right corner. And that is how simply to create an invoice. Now going back to this page, we can also navigate the recurring series in which from here, it will show you the list of your regular customers. But if you want to create a recurring series, just click this blue button and you will be directed in here. And from here, in order to create a recurring series, the same process in making or creating invoices, which is to fill out all of the required information, including invoice title, messages, service date, and frequency. While below, under recurring schedule, you can customize when to start and when to end the recurring series. You can also customize the invoice due date, such as upon receipt in 7 days, in 14 days, and even 30 days. And you can allow automatic payments by checking this box. While under the line item, you'll need to enter or add the items including the quantity and prices. And after filling out all of the required information in creating a recurring series, you can now proceed by clicking the free view and send button in order to send to your customers. Now for the other option, which is estimates, you can click the blue button in order to create estimate, in which the same process, which is to fill out all of the required information below, in order to create estimates and reports invoices. While below, under the setting option, you can also customize the templates of your invoice, in which from here, you can select the layouts that you prefer. And if you have a plus account, you can make a customization layout. And the available layouts here is the original, modern, or even classic layout. And from here, you can also navigate the invoice management and the invoice plus management, in which it will show you the difference benefits that offer by this management plan. So basically, using this platform, once an invoice is created, it can be sent to the recipient via email or shareable link in which they can view the invoice, make payments online, and choose various payment methods such as credit cards, debit cards, or even bank transfer. So that is just how to use Square Invoice. Thank you.